also just realised that I had a bit of white cream on the end of my nose. Attractive. Um, so when you watch this video, I realised after I'd finished talking at the end of it. So yeah, I'm not going to edit it out, just so you know. There is a bit of white cream that just sits at the end of my nose. And because my eyesight's so terrible, I can't actually see it when I'm looking in the viewfinder. Morning, my lovelies. Um, I promised I would update you on the Rosex situation. If you haven't seen my rosacea updated video, I will put a link. Um, this is an antibiotic product specifically for rosacea. It is prescription only, so you do need to speak to your doctor. There are a lot of contraindications using this, as there are with most medications. Um, it's metronid. Dazole, metronidazole, metronidazole, nidazole, which um, is very, very good for the redness. Now, I am in the middle of what I would generally class as my flare up time. Um, I'm quite hormonal, and I've said before I do feel that my rosacea is very much linked to my hormones. When that's the case, I get very dry very dry skin in and around my nostrils. I know it's not pleasant, but it's here and they get very sore. But my skin, I think you will agree, yes, it is still red in places, but the forehead, although that's a little bit dry, um, my fault because I didn't actually put any moisturiser on yesterday or last night, I just didn't feel very well at all. But I think you'll agree that that's the place I've noticed it the most, the forehead. So the pustular aspect using this literally went after about two, three days. I will continue using this for a couple of months. Um, I know people who've used it and then say they stop and then just go back to it if their skin has a moment. Um, it's a gel. I've had people mention that the cream version isn't as good they haven't found it's worked as well I don't know whether that's the percentage this is 0.75% um, I've no idea I've only got the gel you apply it on the areas of concern so you don't just pop it on the pimples I would put it over this whole area because this is where I'm affected again up and around here and then right across the forehead area where there's a problem but I hope you can see even though yes it's there and it's not going to go completely it's a hell of a lot better um so so far so good so i've put some on this morning after cleansing and i leave it properly leave it till it doesn't feel like there's anything on the skin then i go in with my vichy aquilea thermal serum um because you know i love it absolutely love it a couple of pumps and just between my hands and I'm just going to push that onto the face and I blend that everywhere my forehead really needs it today now as with anything my skin will start to redden as I apply products so do be prepared for that it will slightly redden as I start playing with it um, because that's what it does it's reactive I'm obviously pushing it there's oxygen to the surface of the skin but it will just start to get redder part and parcel those of you that suffer will know but the forehead for me was the biggest change i was absolutely shocked just going to put a clip in because you know i hate my hair flopping about all over the place so that on then i have the um, a florence skincare super serum which is anti-pollution fluid fragrance free and it's ceramides and vitamin c and I generally have three drops, three pumps of that. And again, I just like to blend it over my face. So nothing's changed in my routine other than I have used the Rosex. I've stopped using the La Roche Posay um, Rosaliac Serum. I took that out. It just felt like a a step I didn't need to be honest if I was using that that kind of replaced it for me but I still like to use my little double whammy 
of the serums together. I love those together. And then the cream that I'm absolutely loving, which is Elf's um, Holy Hydration Face Cream. This is fragrance free. If you like a fragrance cream, you can get that option as well. Um, very much like the Magic Cream in Consistency from Charlotte Tilbury. I find it very rich without it being gloopy, claggy, that kind of thing. Um, it's just beautiful and a really good price. I think Elf are going to be quite in the forefront this year. I just feel they're coming up with some great, great price products and that's what we need. Um, you know, you see all these expensive creams and yet they've got the same ingredients as the bonds in the high street and you just think, how ridiculous. Um, so I'm loving that, really loving it. As much as I loved the Superdrug one, um, I just didn't feel it was quite enough. My skin was kind of wanting a little bit more and this is it. Holy hydration. If you can't find it in your super drugstore, which I can't, they just have all the makeup, go online. Um, very secure, very quick service, really, really good account. I'm not going out today. If I was going out, I would be using my Elizabeth Arden Privage City Smart. This is an SPF 50. Um, anti-pollution antioxidants hydrating shield I just like it because it's very subtle in coverage but it's giving you that protection um, I've used it before years ago and I go through phases of loving things it's not the cheapest I know that I just find it works well with my skin um, and I like the base it gives but I'm not using it because I'm not going out but with anything, when you're using anything on your skin, treatment-wise, AHAs, BHAs, that kind of thing, use SPF. Just, you know, bang it on. It's fine. So, I'm going to be unhygienic and dip my finger into the pot. You should really use a spatula, but it's only my finger, so it's okay. And I just love that. And I like the pot as well. It's just a nice, sturdy, lovely pot. I'm just going to blend that cream in, really blending it into the skin and apologising for not putting any on yesterday. I just felt really under the weather and it's unlike me to feel, I kind of know I'm hormonal but you know, I'm, the hormones are leaving the building and I don't sort of feel how I used to in my 20s and 30s and early 40s. So I was a bit surprised that the last couple of days I've really felt, you know, PMT-ish and I sort of wanted to eat a lot, which isn't new, but I wanted to eat more. So I was really sort of craving things and then I was really tired and I thought, gosh, this is like the old days. I suppose for me, and you know I like a good slip on the skin, the greasier the better, it does absorb and it's probably not as greasy as I would normally like. However, it gives the results, which is that it just hydrates immediately. My skin is just so much better. Softer to the touch. The dryness is completely gone. There is a subtle glow to the skin. My skin is settling a lot quicker. I hope you can see that as well. Um, you saw how red it was as I was putting things on. But it settles down very quickly. And I'm hoping that, I mean, even here... There's almost like a gap in the red where that's disappeared. So I'm hoping you can see, and the forehead for me, and as, I mean, it shows up actually redder on camera, which is frustrating, but this is nowhere near as bad as it has been. So I will keep you updated um, regarding the rosacea, the continued journey with it. Um, they do recommend that you just keep using it and using it as a full course. And I will do that, religiously do that. But it's going to be interesting to see. I've used things before and it's sort of worked and then gradually it hasn't. The big test has been this flare-up where my skin has reddened a little more but the pustular aspect of it has gone. And that was the thing that bothered me the most because it was quite itchy. And I am a person who likes to scratch. I'm terrible for picking at things. And it wasn't good because even though I was trying not to scratch, I'd sort of press my nails in to alleviate that itching sensation. 
not always the best thing to do. So just getting rid of the pustular aspect for me has been a massive step forward. Uh, so let's talk about glow. Um, I mentioned in a video I had been using Glow For It from Model Zone, which are these iridescent glow drops. And I've been mixing them with a hydration booster serum and using them as a highlighter. And then I had this mad idea to put it all over my face and I really liked it until <laughs> um i think it was last week i'd done that and my makeup looked great i loved it such a glow i think it was the concealer actually it was the combination of the concealer and this by the end of the day i went to take my makeup off and thought what on earth's going on and underneath my eyes it was just this sort of iridescent almost like sh icing sugar brightness to it but really obvious luckily i don't think i'd been out looking like that who knows um but i thought mm, maybe a bit much with the old glow drops so i do still have um this fabulous cassie lomas sheer liquid illuminator um they're no longer on the stand in my local superdrug maybe online but i really love that so i'm looking for a specific illuminator rather than the big iridescent drop issue but then there is also this from the people at l'oreal and it's the glow cherie natural glow enhancer um i've got light glow they come in various shades i believe um I'm not sure, light glow, yeah. I think this is sort of the medium one. So I found an alternative and I used that yesterday and it's really nice. So you could actually use that and conceal it if you just wanted a natural look. So I've got two options, trying not, it was very Tin Man under the eyes, just saying. But I've only noticed it with one concealer so far. So it could have just been the combination of products. But you know I'm honest and I like to share with you the good, the bad and the indifferent. What I am going to do is leave it there for the skincare rosacea update video and I'm going to move on to a makeup video next so there will be another video coming. Um, do let me know if you've used Rosex, do let me know if you're interested in it. I would advise, and I'm sorry to be a bore, but please a doctor is the person to speak to because there are a lot of medications that because this is technically an antibiotic gel you've got to be careful with and also contraindications with your own health so if you're pregnant breastfeeding you know if you've got certain illnesses or have been treated for things you really need to speak to a doctor to find out if this is suitable um, but if you've any sort of easy questions that aren't medical because i'm not medically qualified um ask away but certainly speak to your doctor about this i would not go back to azelaic acid for me personally everybody's skin is different everybody reacts differently azelaic acid for me was just a non-starter it helped a little but when i've used this i can kind of see what should be happening and i don't get any of the stinging the itching any of that that i got with the azelaic acid so there we go rosex Onwards and upwards, I'll keep you updated. Right, I'm off. I'm going to film a makeup video. Bye for now.